Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Guys, in a recent comment, I was asked if I would share my opinion of artificial intelligence and where it's going in medical coding. So let me minimize my box. I wanna share with you some notes that I put together. I recently listened to a podcast that was offered by the AAPC and their podcast is called The Pulse and they had a Miss Ray Marie Jimenez, and she spoke on how AI will impact medical billing and coding. And she stated that artificial intelligence is described as a useful tool in medical coding. It will give functionality and the ability to increase efficiency, and that it was a tool to augment and not replace. And I have to agree with that, I agree. Artificial intelligence will help, but it can't replace. She compared it to the transition to AI, to the transition that we recently went through when we went from paper medical record to the electronic health record. I kept hearing little murmurs about, oh my goodness, what is the EHR going to do? Look how the EHR um, did away with medical transcriptionists, or at least minimized their roles. But I still think even with artificial intelligence and medical coding, that human interaction will always be needed. AI always needs the human aspect in medical coding. In the future, we'll see more integration because right now, artificial intelligence can only work in one service area, such as just radiology or just laboratory. So I do believe eventually it will grow, but it's gonna take so much more work. We must become what we have always been, which is subject matter experts, to build these rules in artificial intelligence because you know as well as I do, garbage in equals garbage out. We're learning that with the EHR. And the clinical documentation improvement is going to be an avenue that will become more critical to clean up documentation so that AI can use the information. But still, that oversight from medical coders will still be needed. For example, with bundling, someone has to attach the appropriate modifiers. So what nuances are there to look into? Think about it. We currently read the medical record. We assign the codes, but then we also have to look at what payers are involved and what their requirements are so that we can uh, apply the appropriate modifiers. I can remember um, coding breast augmentations or you know, bilateral procedures and attaching modifier 50, which meant bilateral, only to find out that Blue Cross Blue Shield did not accept modifier 50 and instead would prefer RT and LT. So humanly, I could go in and change the modifier 50 and instead put RT and LT. So little nuances that are gonna have to be worked out that are gonna still require that human touch are gonna still be there. There's still a lot of unknowns that we have to work through that could take years because think about it. I'm not ashamed to tell you, I've been encoding since the 80s. ICD-8 was out, ICD-9 was in, and we had talked about ICD-10 since the 80s. You and I know both, ICD-10 did not come into effect until 2015. So again, there are still a lot of unknowns and it could take years. So how do we prepare? Your number one step is to educate yourselves. Educate yourself, again, Artificial intelligence is not a threat. Medical coding will change. But guys, medical coding changes every year. We're having to stay current with the guidelines and the rule changes. Our profession is a changing profession. What's now easy and mundane, sure, we can give that to artificial intelligence. And then we, we're still gonna have to handle those more challenging aspects. Our roles may change and we may have new roles 
But again, we are medical coders. That artificial intelligence will generate data analytics that we can gain and use to create more roles in medical coding because we'll have that data and then experts will be needed to perform the implementation of artificial intelligence. We're gonna have to go in and build it. So what is AAPC currently doing? They stated in the podcast that they're currently testing some versions of ChatGPT in their offices. And they're also developing courses in artificial intelligence and that workshops will be adding artificial intelligence to their agenda. So as Codemaster Coach, I just say, get educated and don't be fearful. Stay ahead of the game, just like we do in medical coding daily. If you don't stay in your books, if you don't stay studied up and prepared, today, medical coding will leave you behind. It's going to be the same thing with artificial intelligence. We just have to get in on board and we've got to get educated and we've got to stay current as we do today. So don't let artificial intelligence scare you away from medical coding. We can do this, guys. We got this. All right, stay tuned. See you in the next one.